This is for all my friends from Newtown High School. Now I too majestic dragon with M7 train for Queensboro Bridge. That's right, everyone. I'm crossing Queensboro Bridge. And if you look carefully, Queensboro Bridge connects Queens and Brooklyn. And it's named after the mayor. It's also called the Ed Cox Bridge, former mayor of New York City long ago. Hey everyone, this is Chelsea Sinagnita on Queensboro Bridge. If you want to know the history about this bridge, this bridge was opened and already built in 1909. Eight years before World War Number One in 1917. And right now I'm about to break history. Enough to make my entire family speechless. Crossing the Queensboro Bridge from Queens all the way to Manhattan. As you say, Fuda from Yu Gi Oh! 5D's once quoted, let's rev it up! And here we go. I am now leaving the Ball of Queens, crossing the Queens Ball Bridge, sky high. That's right. This never happens, and I get one shot. Ones with the bikes better slow down. I'm video recording this on YouTube. Yeehaw! Okay, everybody, as we cross Queensboro Bridge, this bridge connects Queens and Manhattan. And this is, and understand this, Queensboro Bridge is my number one favorite bridge in New York City because of my ultimate favorite subway train in New York City that stops by it next to Queensboro Plaza, known as the number seven train. This is an amazing sight for me. Right down below, this is the East River. This is East River, everybody. And what you're looking at way over there, that's Roosevelt Island. That's where the F train stops. Roosevelt Island is an island in New York City between Queens and Manhattan. If you leave Roosevelt Avenue on the F train, along with 21st Street Queens Bridge also on the F train, you're heading towards Manhattan in one strike. And right there, that's the Roosevelt Island drawbridge. And this bridge can lift up and down because of bigger boats or cargo ships and other stuff like that. Man, this is awesome. And this just in, this is my 50th YouTube video I'm about to put up. Just try to keep up with me. If my dad thought I was gonna burn my calories for doing the treadmill, cleaning my bedroom for two hours, walking back to Queen Center Mall Station, walking to Rego Park's Fitness Center next to Burger King, and heading home, let's do the math. Here comes your son's ultimate exercise. Oh yeah. Once with the Sorry. That's okay, I'm putting this on YouTube. I'm crossing the Queensboro Bridge. Really? First time in history. Oh, I have a YouTube channel. That's okay. I got no time to stop. I'm on fire right now. Okay. Just like the team that's battling on Friday, Jets versus Giants. Oh, cool. I have a YouTube channel. Well, hey, money. All right. Hey. Stay safe, dude. Pay attention, mom and dad. What? Look at down there. This is where the, the New York City ferry stops. Right down there. That's the new stop in Roosevelt Island. Attention passengers who ride the F train. That's the new connection you're looking at down there. Connect with the New York City ferry. That's right. That's where the New York City ferry stops. Right down over there. To get New York City ferry, you have to go to Manhattan and pay $275. If you do it from Queens, Brooklyn, or Bronx, if possible, you have to pay by credit card, which sucks. Uh, and what you're looking at, ladies and gentlemen, this is Roosevelt Island. That's the island that connects between Queens and Manhattan on the other side of the East River. Oh, yeah. Oh, and right way over there, that bridge is the Triborough RFK Bridge, named after John F. Kennedy's brother, Robert F. Kennedy. Just like John F. Kennedy was named after JFK Airport years later. As we're approaching Roosevelt Island on the Queensboro Bridge, down there, that's the tramway. And what I just saw is the Roosevelt Island tram. Oh yeah. 
It's about to get nasty. This is the Wilford Island tram, ladies and gentlemen. And, to, and if you have a Metro card, you get a free transfer if you take the subway or the bus. And remember, just like the train and buses, the Metro card's 275. And, with, and this is the Wilford Island tramway, by the way. It connects Manhattan and Wilford Island. If you get off of Wilford Island, you take the F train. If you get off of Manhattan by 2nd Avenue, 60th Street, all you have to do is take four, five, six, N, W, and R trains at Lexington Avenue, 59th Street in the Borough of Manhattan. Oh yeah. And right now, I seen Roosevelt Island tram over there. That must have, that's tram south entering Roosevelt Island, and tram north over there is heading to Manhattan. This is amazing. And I get to see the skyline. Here's the other skyline on the left. That's United Nations building. That's Chrysler building. I can see him there for now. And, and hold on a second. I think I can see Lipstick building hiding in there somewhere. Camouflage. And there's MetLife building. That's by, right by Grand Central Terminal. And this is amazing. You get to see history before your eyes, everybody. Crossing Queensboro Bridge from Queens to Manhattan. I could have done this without the M train and the number 7 train. And by the way, this right here, this is a walkway of Queensboro Bridge. And on this, and right there is the bike. So make sure you stay on your lane. The left side for the bike, the right side is for people like me walking. Understand. People who are walking is called a pedestrian. Oh yeah. Oh, he, and right here, Queensboro Bridge has two levels. This is the lower level, and up there is the upper level. Here's how it works. If you take the Q60 and the 32 buses, they go on the lower level. Unlike Q101, that's a bit different. Towards Manhattan, it goes on the lower level. But towards Queens, it goes on the upper level. It depends though because of traffic condition. And by the way, Roosevelt Island is the halfway point to Manhattan if you're crossing the Queensboro Bridge by car. But if you're walking like me, you're exercising and avoiding cancer in the future. Now that's fitness power. And in addition to that, I'm also dedicating this to my other family members. As they say on Sesame Street, everybody, the letter Q, which is the 17th letter of the alphabet, stands for Queensboro Bridge. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm almost near Manhattan, and it's down to the wire. This is better than the New York City Marathon anytime. Oh, man. This could make my parents speechless. By the way, when nighttime comes, Queensboro Bridge lights up like a giant nightlight. But when it's daytime, it gets turned off. So everyone can save electricity. Otherwise, it would have been a blackout. Pay attention everyone, way, way down the East River on your left is the bridge that connects Manhattan and Brooklyn if you're taking the J&M train between Delancey Street, Essex Street in Manhattan and Marcy Avenue in Brooklyn. That's the Williamsburg Bridge, which starts with the letter W. And right now I'm on Queensboro Bridge, which starts with the letter Q. Man, this is awesome. I'm about to go down in history and for graduating Newtown High School for the past six years, I get to cross Queensboro Bridge. 
Man, I'm gonna upload this on YouTube when I get home. More than enough to make my parents speechless. So it's called pause for effect. For burning 227 calories on the treadmill, plus five calories cleaning my bedroom for two hours, another five calories walking towards the fitness center with my dad and sister earlier, five calories for walking back home first since I had to make a pit stop, and another five calories is for walking to Queen Center Mall. And if you wonder how many calories I burned for crossing Queensboro Bridge as I entered the bar Manhattan, that's a plus 200. So 227 plus five, plus another five, another five, and of course, another five, 200. I'm almost burning between 400 to 500 calories estimated. So try not to get confused at this point. I'm very happy to get to cross the Queensboro Bridge, leaving Queensboro Plaza on the 7th train in Queens behind, and now entering the Bar Manhattan. This is awesome. We're almost at the end of crossing the Queensboro Bridge from Queens to Manhattan. And as they say in Power Rangers Super Mega Force, in honor of the 25th anniversary of the Power Rangers, next Tuesday on August 28, 2018, on the clock strikes 8 p.m. on Nickelodeon. Now that's a Super Mega Force win right now. And right up ahead is the exit to Queensboro Bridge. This is very amazing. And because of it, I lost 40 to 50 pounds. Just like in my business seminar for crossing the Queensboro Bridge for entering Manhattan. I already reached for the stars in the sky at night, channeling with all my super mega force might. And this just in that's Tram North, who just entered Manhattan, is headed to Roseville Island. And one behind me is Tram South, headed to Manhattan. Let's get a good view, everybody. That's Tram North crossing the Queensboro Bridge. Right above my head, if I was a Pteranodon with a 24-foot wingspan in the Cretaceous time period. And it's no joke. Well, everybody, here we are. As we exit the Queensboro Bridge very soon, we're entering Manhattan. And, we're, and it's almost down to the wire now. Hold on, everybody. This just in, here comes Tram South. It's entering Manhattan, right above my head. So pay attention. Hold on, everybody. I got him. Here, there it goes. There it goes. With an airplane way above it. Sorry about that. Well, everybody, there you have it. Exercise history has been be as in broken, as they say on Sesame Street. I have finally crossed the Queensboro Bridge from Queens to Manhattan. And as for my mom who worried too much, well, the hashtag, it is too late. It is too late. This is an amazing video I'm going to put up on YouTube. That's how you kick off YouTube. My what I'm going to upload, and this is my 50th YouTube video. As they say in Spanish for number 50, numero cincuenta. This is it, everyone. I'm ready for the final strike, just like the Super Mega Force Power Rangers. Wow! I have crossed Queensboro Bridge from Queens to Manhattan. This just it, everybody, as I'm almost entering Manhattan. As they say in the National Football League, interception of the goal line. I'm about to score a giant touchdown. To people who need, who are, didn't exercise today, well, too bad. Time to get up and get ready for action, just like the Power Rangers. As I enter, like I said, Manhattan, one of the five boroughs in New York City, 
and I'm done crossing the bridge that opened in 1909 called the Queensboro Bridge, which connects Queens and Manhattan and over Roosevelt Island where the F train is, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yes, sir. -y. I'm not giving up. I'm about to go for a giant touchdown. Hang on, everybody. We're almost there. I see the the light at the end of Queensboro Bridge as we enter the borough of Manhattan. Looks like Tram South up ahead has entered Manhattan while Tram North already entered Roosevelt Island for Roosevelt Island Tram Ring. This is it! I'm, cross I'm almost done crossing Queensboro Bridge and it's going on YouTube! Alright, just a few more seconds. This is gonna go on YouTube. Right after I find the crossing. Hang on guys! Well, we're about to enter the exit section of Queensboro Bridge. Just hang on. Just a few more seconds where we're gonna hit score a touchdown. So get ready. Right after I get past a flock of rock pigeons. Oh yeah, this can make my parents speechless. This just in as I enter Manhattan right now, I already burned 425 calories. Combining with the other exercise I've done already with my dad and sister earlier, along with cleaning up my bedroom at home for two hours. It's over. It's over. Well, there you have it, guys. I finally crossed Queensboro Bridge from Queensboro Plaza on the 7th train to 1st Avenue, 60th Street in the Bar Manhattan. I say, that's a wrap.